Welcome to Newsmakers. My name is Sean Smith. I'm the Assistant Director of Community Relations for Cheshire County Public Schools. Join us today, Debbie Bailey. Welcome to you, Debbie. Hi, thank you for having me here. Oh, it's great to have you with us. Um, we want to talk about, uh, amongst the many recognitions I'm sure you've received, a recent one is you were named the Middle School Teacher of the Year. And for our viewers out there, you're at Carver Middle School. You're the Social Studies Department Chair. First of all, congratulations thank to you. you. Thank you. And um, if you would, walk us briefly through what it was like when you were named and recognized as the Teacher of the Year that day. Uh, my students were taking a test. <laughs> so the room was all nice and quiet. And um, Mr. Ashburn, our principal, walked in the room and said, students, and I went, shh, they're taking a test. <laughs> and then I looked up and behind them was Dr. Newsom and Donna Dalton and Tim Bulis, all these people come walking in with flowers and balloons and Carrie Corner. And I was like, oh gosh, this is not a normal visit. You know, our, and then they had, you know, cake and all that. So. Needless to say, I just turned to the students. I said, turn your test over. <laughs> just turn it over. <laughs> we'll get back to it. <laughs> so then we had a little celebration, and they all ate cake, and it was nice. Yeah. It was very nice. I know it was an exciting day. Um, and obviously, as you think about uh, your job, your profession, um, and certainly you've been with Cheshire Schools for a number of years. You're a Cheshire uh, graduate as well. As you think about uh, students, we were talking earlier about family members being in school. As you think about a student maybe entering the workforce, maybe becoming a teacher, what is kind of your advice you'd give to them? Well, it's funny because when I started teaching, the old adage is don't smile till Christmas. That was the only <laughs> advice you ever got. And, and I actually would give a new teacher the exact opposite advice. I think you, you get so far um, in education today by building a rapport and a relationship with your students. Um, they they really are people pleasers. Students want to make their teachers happy. No no student walks into the classroom saying, I want to be the bad kid in class and I want to fail. They really want to make you happy. It's just get, giving them the um, insight into your life and into who you are and then learning about who they are, building that relationship and making the connections. It, it goes so far in motivating them as learners because they want to work for you. They want to, they want to succeed for you because that's really innately, I think, what human beings are all about. Nobody wants to make people unhappy. I right. think they do try to please. And so my students, they usually, they, they strive or try really hard just because they, they want to make Miss Bailey happy. And it works. At least it works for me. And I think the best advice I could give to a new teacher would be, you know, just don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to connect with your students. You don't want to be their best friend, but you want to show interest in their lives. And as you think about, obviously, that connection you're making, everybody has their own unique style in the classroom. Uh, tell us about kind of your style in the classroom. Well, <laughs> 29 years ago when I started teaching, I was, I was a stand and deliver lecturer, and I thought <laughs> I gave the best lectures in the world. And, and I think, you know, at least I thought at the time, that's what worked. But we're in a totally different era, and, and the students have changed so much in the 29 years I've been in the classroom that now you do the stand and deliver lecture and you see the glazed over look and, and, you've, and you've lost them. I um, have spent a lot of time researching and embracing the project-based learning methods and I went full on into it this past year. And I can tell you that it probably is not my preferred way of teaching because I love to talk. This is, but it's not all about me, and that's what a lot of teachers need to recognize as well. It's not about your preferred way of teaching, it's about their preferred way of learning. And students today learn in a collaborative, group setting, project-based learning, things that are um, more hands-on. And uh, I think my students really did well this year with it. Um, again, it's, you know, it's a difference, it's a different, it's a flip, and it is a flipped classroom. They did a lot of online modules that I developed and things at home, and then we did the projects in the classroom, working in groups and collaboratively. I never once stood and lectured. I never gave a single note all year. They learned completely differently, and they did just as well come into year testing as right. they had been doing. And I never woke a child up once in my <laughs> class. <laughs> I mean, you know, and you, no matter how great of a lecturer you think you are, no one in my classroom fell asleep this year. <laughs> I'm sure many accomplishments that one you're most proud of. <laughs> yeah. No one fell asleep. That's because they were completely entertained with each other engaged, in their own yeah. little engage, engaged group setting and problem solving. They were problem solving the whole year and they liked it. Well, we want to say congratulations to you again. We appreciate you being here and uh, wish you the best of luck for your upcoming school year as well. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. And thanks to our viewers. Please join us next time. Learn about Cheshire County Public Schools.